I think children are hugely creative and imaginative. And I think the, the older you get, the less so you become. So to engage them and switch them on and allow them to indulge their creativity that's already there, it's got to be a good thing. I'm Sally Wainwright and I'm a writer, director and um, exec producer. My first memories of Eureka were um, taking my own children there. The, I'd never been anywhere quite like it, where you could, you could just touch things and do things and s not just see how things worked. And, and it wasn't just about reading information, it was about doing things. And I'd never seen a, a museum like that before. And it just, it just seemed very colourful and vibrant and exciting. An exciting arena where kids could just go in and touch things. So it was nice to have a museum where, well, a museum for children where you could go in and do anything you wanted. Most children I know are creative. Most children I know draw and create stories. Children love stories. Children love being told stories and they love writing them. And I certainly did. My, me and my sister used to write stories for each other from being tiny. And, it, and I just kept it going <laughs> and made a living out of it. Um, so, I, you know, I think children need all the encouragement that they can get to write to keep it going, not to regard it as something you just do as a child. If I could be a child again, would it, could I have my grown-up brain or would I have to go back to being a child again? Because I often think I'd like to go back to being about eight, but with the brain I've got now, my grown-up brain. And then I could go to, te uh, to Granada Television and say, as an eight-year-old, can I write Coronation Street? And they'd go, no. And I'd say, yeah, but look at these scripts. And they'd go, oh, yeah, we're going to take this eight-year-old on. So as an eight-year-old, I'd be earning mega bucks. And, and I could play out with my mates in the woods as well. <laughs>